Hello SolidWorks Power Users and welcome to the 21st SolidWorks Power User Challenge. The goal of this challenge is to build a perfect barrel cam or as perfect as possible. So what I did here, I built an imperfect barrel cam by using the wrap deboss commands. You can see here I'm removing 1.5 mm from the cylindrical face. In order to check the accuracy of this barrel cam, I built a sketch and I believe it's worth discussing it because I will use it for uh, gauging the accuracy of your entries. Also, pro please provide feedback if you believe I'm missing something here, so this is not uh, right. Uh, the way I imagine this working is I will change, I will uh, vary two values. One is going to be this 5 millimeter depth for the probe, and uh, the second one will be this angle. Uh, from a known direction. So when I select this angle, I can move it. As I'm moving it, the, the um, diameter of this circle is a driven dimension that's going to provide me with the value that I have there. And you can see how it varies. Probably I need to increase the number of uh, decimal points, but you can see right now it's 199. It's supposed to be 2. And now it's 198 and 197 at one point, so obviously this is not a perfect uh, cam. If you're wondering how I build this sketch, so if you want to double check my reasoning, I uh, started by drawing the axis of the cylinder. I know I can use the temporary axis, but I placed really points uh, in the center of these two circles. I have one line that is perpendicular to the axis. At the end of this line, I drew, I created a plane. So if you're looking at the definition of this plane, it's perpendicular to that, uh, let's say, radius of the cylinder. And also, uh, it contains the end point of the line. On this plane, I build this circle. So this circle, it's on that plane. It's always uh, parallel to a plane that goes through the axis of the cylinder. And it has two tangent relations. Each and every one of them is in regards to one of these faces. So the circle is tangent to this face and also is tangent to this face. And that's all I have. So whenever I need to change something, I'm taking advantage of the Instant 2D and Instant 3D for probing. If I want to change to check the what's happening on the angle, I would simply select the angle and drag this point. And you can see how the angle changes and the driven dimension determining the uh, diameter of the circle updates automatically. I can do the same thing, as I said, by modifying this 5 millimeter dimension. And you can do that in 3D too. So if you're just selecting the sketch and you have instant 3D, all these uh, tools are available for probing. So please let me know, first of all, if you believe the measuring tool the, that I created, the 3D sketch, is valid. If you have something uh, that you believe would invalidate its uh, use. And second, find the best way to build the most accurate barrel cam uh, you can uh, you can have. And you can use this file. I'll make it available to you. It's done in SolidWorks 2016. So anybody who has 2016, 17, 18, or 19 can, uh, can use it. Good luck.